Hello, my name is Stephanie Cordova and today I will be doing my culture um, video. Um, my topic will be on dancing as a Mexican American. Me and my family, we truly um, enjoy dancing and it has became a really big factor in my family. Growing up, I really enjoyed dancing and I still do enjoy dancing. Um, this has been a really important factor of my life because when we do family get-togethers, it has become really important for us to play music and, you know, we end up all dancing and that's the way that we communicate um, our love for each other and that we express like that we are enjoying ourselves at the moment. I will mainly focus on the background of dancing. Um, what type of music I enjoy to dance and how I've expanded um, dancing throughout my life. First, I will give a background story about how dancing has became and is a big factor in um, my culture. Um, dancing for me is a way for me to express that I am having a good time and that I am enjoying myself. Um, throughout my whole childhood, I would never hesitate to stay back when we um, would have a family reunion, I would always go. And um, most of the time when there was live music, I would always join in with my family to dance and to um, you know have a good time. Music uh, has been uh, really important to my family and I. Throughout music and dancing, again, how I said, we express that we are enjoying ourselves and that we're having a really great time. Growing up, me and my older sister would go to Mexico um, to vacation and to visit our family. Most importantly, to visit our grandparents, with, who are already pretty old. And we would also visit our uncles and aunts. Um, I began to go when I was nine, and my sister was around 11 years old. And we would go, we would go around the month, the month of June and July. And around those times, there was always. Um, like ranch parties and we would always go to the ranch parties and there was always live music and we would always um, go and dance with our friends and our family and have a great time. In Spanish it is called like Las Fiestas del Pueblo and that was a way for um, the ranch or the pueblo to um, get together and to celebrate um, Santa Maria Magdalena which was the um, a saint that uh, was really important in the in the pueblo, and uh, that was part of that still is a part of the culture. To this day, they still uh, keep doing this tradition, which is really beautiful. And luckily, me and my sister get me and all my sisters get to go and experience what my parents' childhood was like because they would do this back then. As well. And I will also insert some pictures and some videos of um, when I go to Mexico. So you guys can take a look at what that is like. The place that I just inserted is of a dance called El Meniaito. It is traditionally danced in um, the Hispanic and the Latino culture. Um, there's other dances like um, um, music from El General that um, we really enjoy dancing, but that's just a little bit of what we enjoy dancing. So now I will be, um, speak about what type of music I enjoy to dance. Music of my preference to listen to would be um, classics or oldies like Jose Jose and um, older music. I will um, listen to any kind of music, honestly, but when I dance, I dance more like um, banda, which is like again and then like reggaeton um uh, it is really um popular right now like bad bunny you can't really dance that but it's more like listening to it and there's way more music out there that i um really enjoy to listen to and dance to um since i really enjoy dancing banda banda is um a band it is typically of 10 to 12 members um, there's some one with the battery, another with the trumpet. Um, a grupo is smaller; it's probably around like four people. And there's like two guitars, one battery, and then one um, a tuba. And there's a lot of ways to um, enjoy the music from my tradition. 
and um, into a really beautiful thing. When I would uh, go to Mexico and they would do the fiestas of the pueblo, or when my family would um, throw little parties, like family parties, they would usually get bandas. So I grew up listening to this music and I learned um, to love this music. And to this day, I still um, love and enjoy this music. Um, I also enjoy dancing reggaeton, which again is like um, hip hop. And growing up, I would, um, I would go accompany my mom to go to Zumba. And in Zumba, typically, it's mostly reggaeton. And lastly, I will talk about how I plan to always carry this dancing passion with me as I grow up. So, um, I plan to eventually get my Zumba credentials since I really do enjoy dancing. And since at one point in my life, I was a Zumba instructor, obviously without a um, dancing permit. But um, I really enjoyed doing this, so I think that um, I should get my Zumba credentials since I could already, since you can get it once you become 18. And um, my mom actually had her Herbalife Club where I would give um, dancing classes. I wouldn't consider them Zumba because Zumba is a, a brand. And um, in, in these dancing classes, I discovered that dancing is my passion and that I really, um, truly do like um, showing other people how to dance and um, that it's a thing that I do without it having to like, you know, there's jobs where you don't want to go to and this was like a mini job that I had where I um, went with all the, um, the attitude like I was going um, because I wanted to do it and because I wanted other people to learn the way that I danced or um, to dance during the music. To close this up, I want to say how dancing is very important to me and my family and how the um, culture and the um, tradition behind dancing is very beautiful to um, me and my family and how I would love for my future generations to carry this passion with them as well.